Grover Beach City is one step closer to allowing the manufacturing, cultivation, and sale of recreational marijuana. KSPY's Kelsey McFarland joins us live in Grover Beach with details. Kelsey? Karina Richard, there are four retailers and one manufacturer in Grover Beach that have the permit for medicinal marijuana, and soon those businesses will likely be able to switch to recreational marijuana as well. In the next few months, Grover Beach may see a total of eight cannabis businesses operating within the city. Grover Beach is becoming a center of commercial cannabis activity. At least one retailer that already has their medicinal cannabis permit is jumping at the chance for a recreational permit. We're really excited. We actually just launched our grand opening date for May 19th, and so it's fitting right in the line with our opening plans to be able to go from a medical facility to recreational. Three additional cannabis manufacturing businesses were approved for development with more applications likely on the way. There are a number of other prospective applications that we believe are forthcoming over the next few weeks. City staff recommends a 5% tax rate for retail, a 3% tax for manufacturing, and a $5 per square foot tax for cultivation businesses. Generating tax revenues for our community while providing an economic incentive for businesses to locate in Grover Beach. Revenue or not, the new neighborhood additions have some longtime residents concerned. Everything from property values to safety of my neighborhood, safety of my children, safety of my neighbor's children. Business applicants argue they'll have a robust security plan. We're actually going to bring a little bit more security to, to the area with the way everything has to uh, be in place, all the alarms and cameras and you know sensor lights. Now with the proposed tax rate, which the city approved with some amendments tonight, the city estimates that cannabis business will bring about $700,000 to the city in the next fiscal year and the following year, $1.5 million. Live in Grover Beach, Kelsey McFarland, KSBY News. Kelsey, thank you. Businesses would be allowed to use volatile solvents such as butane gas fumes, gasoline and paint thinner that vaporize at room temperature. The ordinance would also remove a step from the permitting process. Applicants would not have to go through city council.